Wired to a home's electrical system, a standby generator automatically powers up in the event of an outage. Production starts with the stator. It's the stationary core of the alternator, the part that converts energy from the motor to electricity. A press compacts 100 or more laminated steel discs to create the stator core. Machinery lifts the stator core out of the assembly device and transfers it to the next station. Here, an automated system insulates the numerous slots in the core. Meanwhile, at another station, an automated system winds copper wire onto a mandrel. This configures the copper windings to fit the core slots. Once all the windings have been correctly arranged on the threading tool, the technician is ready to transfer them to the stator core. He places the stator on top of the threading tool and activates a hydraulic device that pushes the wires up through the tool and into the slots of the stator core. Then it's into the lacing machine. This machine crochets a string wrap around the bundles to hold the wires together. With the wiring precisely wound and wrapped, this important generator component is ready for the finishing touch, a clear varnish. To produce the alternator's rotating part, the rotor, the technician stacks laminated steel discs to the same height as the stator core. He lubricates the opening in the center of the discs. He inserts a shaft, and a press pushes it into the stack to complete the installation. Then it's over to an automated welder. The machine grips the rotor at both ends and slowly turns it as a robot welds both caps to the rotor body. The technician unclamps the rotor from the welding machine and then tucks insulation into slots on the sides. The rotor then goes for a spin in a machine that winds bands of copper wire around the insulated sections. These wires will act as electromagnets and help produce electrical current. They're now ready to assemble the standby generator. Using a lift, the technician lowers the engine into position. He joins the rotor shaft to the engine crankshaft. Next up is the stator. The technician slides the stator onto the rotor. He anchors the stator and rotor to the generator base. He attaches a motorized carbon brush to copper rings on the rotor shaft. The brush will collect electricity from the shaft and transfer it to the generator controller. He secures it to the end bracket with screws. He connects the wiring harness that moves electricity from the brush to the controller. He links the other end of the harness to the engine. He plugs in a sensor to monitor oil pressure and makes all the other electrical connections. The assembly of this standby generator is complete. 